Good morning, good morning, good morning, friends. I am so happy that you've chosen to join us once again. We are on day number six of our 10 days of prayer. I can't believe that day six is here already, boys and girls. Time really does move quickly. Now, this morning, we are going to talk about not giving up. This morning, our title is Don't Give Up. You know, kids, when we pray, sometimes we feel like giving up because sometimes we are praying and we feel like our prayers aren't being answered. But this morning, our message is Don't Give Up. And we're going to be reading from Luke. We're going to be reading chapter 18. We're going to be reading verses 1 through to verse 7. So I want you to grab your Bible as usual. Whatever you version you have, that's perfectly fine. I will read to you this morning from the International Children's Bible. And then once we're finished this, you and your mom or dad can go back over the verse and can talk and can pray. And so as per usual, boys and girls, I want to give you some time to find the verse and then we will read it together. Okay, I think you would have found it by now. And so I will be reading to you Luke 18, 1 to 7. And it says, Then Jesus used this story to teach his followers that they should always pray and never lose hope. Once there was a judge in a town. He did not care about God. He also did not care what people thought about him. In that same town, there was a widow who kept coming to this judge. She said, There's a man who's not being feared to me. Give me my rights. But the judge did not want to hear the widow. After a long time, he thought to himself, I don't care about God, and I don't care about what people think. But this widow is bothering me. I will see that she gets her rights or she will bother me until I am worn out. The Lord said, listen to what the bad judge said. God's people cried to him night and day. God will always give them what is right, and he will not be slow to answer them. What a lovely, lovely reading this morning, boys and girls, reminding us that we should not stop praying and we should not give up on what we are praying about. As we are learning this week or these 10 days about prayer, one of the essential things that we should remember is that we should not give up. Galatians 6 verse 9 tells us that we must not become tired of doing good because we will receive our harvest at the right time. We must not give up. And that's what I want to tell you today, boys and girls. Don't give up when you pray. Even if you feel like you're not getting an answer, keep praying. Because just like in that story, if the unjust judge gave the lady what she desired because she kept coming back and asking, how much more our Heavenly Father who loves us so much, he's going to answer our prayers. So I want you to think, boys and girls, if there is something that's going on right now that's a difficult situation for you that you're praying about, know that God is going to answer your prayer. You just keep on praying. I want you to say it with me, boys and girls. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Yes, we're going to keep on praying. We're not going to give up. And so this morning, I want you to close your eyes with me. And we're going to pray together because we're not going to stop praying. We're going to keep praying because we know that God answers prayers. Let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this morning where you have woken us up. You have given us health. You have given us strength. Lord, we thank you. This morning, Lord, as we went into your word and we learned what your word taught us, that we should not give up. 
even when sometimes we're praying and we feel like we're not getting the answer. Lord, give us the strength not to give up. Because we know, Lord, that you will answer our prayer. So, Lord, whatever it is this morning that the boys and girls and the moms and dads are praying for, I ask you, Lord, that you will answer those prayers. Because you have told us, don't give up. I'll be answering the prayers. So, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So boys and girls, I want to thank you once again for joining us. I want to let you know that you should go on over to BibleActivitiesForKids.com. We've got lots of resources for you and we want to see you again tomorrow. 